We are in Windows Server 2012 in a Hyper-V virtual machine and we are going to join this particular server into the domain. So it's again a virtual machine. We want to make sure that we can ping our current DC server and as long as that gets a reply then we know we can. So we can go ahead and start the process. So our computer is already a member of the domain. Let's go ahead and click Add Roles and Features. And we're going to choose the role-based or feature-based installation in Server Manager. And we're going to choose our server that we have listed here. And we're only going to check one box, Active Directory Domain Services under Roles. When we do that, it'll prompt us to install a bunch of other roles and features automatically, which we'll just go ahead and choose to add. We'll choose next. We will ignore anything here in the features because everything that needed to be checked has been checked. Next, next, and install. Now the installation process can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour, just depends on how far away your domain controller is and what your speed in connecting to that DC will be. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through that part and to the next step. All right, this is all done, and now we have the option to promote this server to be a domain controller. If you miss this option to click on this link, that's okay. You're going to see it show up in this little triangle up here. Click on there, and then you can promote that to be a domain controller. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, choose the added domain controller to an existing domain, since the domain is already there from a previous video. And we're going to choose to log in as the administrator. All right, so let's go ahead and click on change. And apparently it did not take our password, so let's go ahead and type it in. Sometimes that happens. And this part sometimes takes a long time, sometimes it just zips right through it. All right, and now uh, we want to choose to go ahead and make this a DNS server and a global catalog. We do not want to make it a read-only domain controller, otherwise you can't make any changes to it. So we'll go ahead and type the password for directory services in case there is an Active Directory domain crash. We'll go ahead and choose the default uh, first site name and next. Now this message is normal. Delegation cannot be created. That's okay. Just go ahead and click next and ignore that. And we can replicate from any domain controller or you can hit the drop down and choose a specific one if you know one that is closer to you that will replicate things faster. And once this part's done we'll get next and we'll be able to there we go. And we'll choose the default uh, locations for all the log files etc and it's going to also automatically do a forest and schema uh, as well as a domain prep. All right, so if we want, we can review everything here. If it looks the way we want, then we'll go ahead and click Next. You can also click to view the script, and you can run a script to do this instead. So we'll go ahead. This is a, uh, an installation that is manual, so we just step through each one of these. And when it's done, We'll go ahead and reboot. All right, so another thing that comes up is you see a lot of warnings. And as long as you don't see any red ones, then everything is fine. Just go ahead and click Install. It is going through its various different upgrades. You can see right now it's upgrading the forest. And uh, again, it could take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour or more, depending on what kind of speed you have. All right, looks like it finally finished. We'll go ahead and restart. All right, our server is back up. Let's go ahead and log in. And we can double check that our server roles are installed by opening up Active Directory Users and Computers and seeing if that's installed now under Tools in Server Manager. You can also check that it's a global catalog by seeing if the syslog, uh, sysfile folder is uh, also being shared. And that's a fairly easy thing to check in the netlogon folder as well. 
So if we click on Tools, and yes, we do see Active Directory Users and Computers is installed. And if we open up and choose Localhost, we should see those two shares. And we do, NetLogon and Sysfall, and there is all of our Active Directory. So that's how you promote a member server to be a domain controller on a virtual machine in Windows Server 2000.